Okay. Literally, I I just finished recording the video explaining how I did all of this, but like we got to look at this because um like it, it literally took like less than 10 minutes, honestly. But here's the main account right here. This I mean this is not the main account, but this is the account we're working on. This is the beginner journey free to play account. Check this out. We got Jamarsa. If you are a free to play player, you need to be grabbing Jamarsa. All right. So here we are. We're taking the fragments for Jamarsa. There it is. Guess what, guys? We can go ahead and take Jamarsa right now if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Really good, really good cocktail here, man. Old fashioned. Right here. A1. Sleep. And with Cronum, she also inflicts decreased speed. Her A2 it heals and then fills turn meter. Activates one of Cronum's skills when he's there. AoE Reviver on a 5 turn cooldown with HP and turn meter. Not the best revive for AoE, but that's okay. She's still a decent champion, especially for early on and free to play. And then right here, her, her passive. Whenever an ally uses an active skill, meaning their A2 or their A3, Decreases the cooldown, guys. Let me keep drinking here. Now, when she's booked, there is no cooldown. One, two, three. Boom, no cooldown. Increases defense. All allies. Uh, la, la, la. Increases the defense of all allies in all battles by 20%. It's all allies. Early on, guys, she is a great free-to-play epic champion who provides support. Let me run some stuff here while I'm showing you guys all of that. Click through here. Chronom is right around the corner. Chronom is right around the corner. We're doing things. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to go ahead and collect Jamarsa. Full screen this. Summon her. We could have waited for like some champion training or, or champion chase event or whatever, but no, I'm not gonna wait. She, I need her right like right now. Okay. And now we have Jamarsa on the account. This is going to be a little bit of a game changer right here. Um, look, look, just look at her. She is. Uh, actually, I, I can't. I love my wife. I won't be looking at her. But now we have an AoE reviver on our team. Someone to, to decrease cooldown. Someone to place sleep on the A1. And a healer as well. She's definitely going to help me out on this mission right here. Where I have to um, do a million damage to the demon lord. To the clan boss. She's worth bringing up to, at the very least, 50 which I think I might do. But uh, the, the issue is I can't focus too much on trying to max out a bunch of champions. So she's going to stay at 40 for a little bit. And then plus she's an epic, so I'm going to have to wait to fully book her out. More than likely when you get to the end game, you're going to have better revivers. But for now, she's great progress. She, she's going to be huge to help us progress through the game. So we'll take that. So... I've come to the conclusion that I don't really want to focus on maxing out Kale quite yet. As far as a campaign farmer, I do remember, at least on the phone, he was about a 40 second farmer. On PC, maybe he's like a 30 second farmer, but I do remember there is a common champion who is farmable, who does 12-3 in 6 seconds. And his name is Saurus. His attack is pretty high for a uncommon champion. And we're going to go ahead and farm the crap out of stage... Uh, what stage is this? Stage 10-3. Hoping to drop a Saurus. Or we can hope to pull him from the mystery shards here. Not yet. No Saurus. Oh, oh, there was a lizard man there, but it wasn't Saurus. Oh my god. Did I just manifest the things that I want in life? 
Yes, I did. I wanted a wife. I found the best one in the entire fucking world. We need to, you know, let's drink a little bit. Pour a little bit more of this old fashioned. All of his attacks are AoEs. His second one is a two hitter. He is probably going to be, in my opinion, in the realm of uncommon champions, the best campaign farmer. Even Shield Guard, who can farm Nightmare, by the way, still does not beat Saurus doing 12 3 brutal. So we're going to have to build him out. In fact, let me go ahead and ascend him right now. We're hot right now. And I'm a little bit shmammered right now. Whoever takes this account, you're you're gonna you're gonna I, I hope you enjoy this account. Because I put in a lot of work here for you. In terms of building him out as a damage dealer, we're not quite there yet with the gear. Maybe. A lot of this is unrolled, so I couldn't tell you from the get-go. I do know we have some cruel gear. I'm probably gonna stack him out in cruel gear just because we don't have any savage quite yet. Gonna have to get some masteries on him, but things are coming together. 